Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your August 2015 tarot reading. So um, I apologize for the delay in getting this out to you. I know the, some of the other signs got theirs like a week in advance. So <clears throat> the first card I have out here is actually the Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups, the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> and sorry for the format as well. Um, I am on the road, so I don't have my normal, usual setup that I do at home so it's so it's sort of like inverted but um, I hope this will do I'm also doing this reading on the last week of July so the first card which is the eight of Pentacles is going to be something that is a little bit of a residual energy okay so um, I'm getting this very strong message a lot of you might be involved with a water sign and a water sign is a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, indicative of the King of Cups, male or female. Um, I do feel that you have invested a lot, a lot of energy into this relationship and you're thinking to yourself whether or not it is worth it. So you're trying to decide whether to scrap it altogether or have that talk, you know, about give and take and equality and um, balancing the karmic scale and things like that. So um, this can be in the relationship front or it can be in the um, work front, especially because it's a pentacles card or in a family type of situation. Um, I do feel that there is a lot of um, emotional, like there's a lot of emotional uh, turmoil, drama associated with this water sign. This could be like the, ba the the drama they bring into your life. It could be their emotional baggage, the history that you have together that is not allowing you to, um, to fully, I guess, move on with your life. I do feel as well um, with the moon ca card coming through, there is also a great deal of deception associated with this water sign. And, um, you know, the moon is very, very illusory. So it's sort of like things that we can't really um, put our finger on. So it's sort of like you, you meet, if you meet someone for the first time and you're just like, there's something off about this person, but I don't really know what it is. And then it takes you a really, really long time to finally pinpoint it. And in the meantime, you know, a lot of you are very, very like live and let live. You always give the people the benefit of the doubt, okay? Until they, you know, they, they burn bridges then you would just move on. But um, it's sort of like you have an, an inkling that something's off, something's a little weird, there might be deception, but you can never catch them in the act or you can never, you can never like, uh, you're never sure. And I do feel for this month, for you're going to be sure. You're going to be sure whether or not it works. I do feel at his or her best, this water sign is very like, um, this person boosts your self-esteem. They're uh, quite, they're quite attractive. They're quite social, and they are also very charismatic. But at their worst, they're basically sucking the life out of you. Mainly because um, it's very, it's a very unbalanced type of relationship. You spent a lot of energy trying to make things work, or you were just out living your life. And then, you know, they, they come in and they create havoc. They create drama. They create unnecessary stress and strain to your psyche. And um, because of that coming through for this month, you're going to realize that the relationship itself was very, very faulty, okay? It didn't have a firm foundation. And it was basically built on a lot of, like, uh, guilt trips. Very toxic energy, actually. So just be very careful, okay? Um. I would definitely say that this is a, it, it's interesting because this energy is coming through for so many signs. I just did one for Leo and um, I do feel that for fire signs especially. So we have that uh, Venus retrograde. We also have Uranus retrograde. We also have um, as well, Saturn is basically going back into Sagittarius. So it's basically, you know, you, you were given a break for the past few months, but now that is going back into Sagittarius on August 3rd, what's going to happen is you're going to go through a period where you are, you really have to reassess the direction of your life, okay? So decisions are going to have to be made. And I do feel whatever you decide to do, the outcome here looks very, very good, okay? Um, in the past, you might have been in a situation of self-doubt, of emotional turmoil, of also dealing with, um, with like questions, a lot of questions. It's almost like being interrogated or in a situation where 
you don't really have all the information and you can't really access it because your partner or whoever it was that you're dealing with has been very evasive. So coming through for this month, you're going to figure out what it is that you want to do because the, the moon, <clears throat> I do feel that the Aquarius blue moon on the 31st has been like a total, a, a moment of total illumination for a lot of signs, okay? Especially on the relationship front. So things that um, you were questioning earlier, but you didn't really, that you overlooked, or you didn't really press for, for answers, the answers are coming through whether or not you, you want the information. And I do sense it is definitely going to like, um, steer the direction of your life like 180 okay so you thought you were going one way and then the 31st the blue moon happened and now you're just like that's not working for me I'm releasing all that baggage and I'm going to take a different path and my path is going to be more me oriented more growth oriented for me and more beneficial for me so I do feel that you are going to embark on a new phase in your life and it's surrounded by very very lovely cards and this new phase in your life is going to start solidifying. I do feel in a period of like um, three months. So August, September, October, November. So around the time of November, it's looking to me to be very, very positive. Okay. Possibly even like um, from November 21st, because the sun will be in your constellation in Sagittarius. So that's when projects and everything is going to gain traction. I do feel that first step is definitely happening for you for this month. However, the, you know, the culmination, the apex of that experience is not going to come through until, um, until n the end of November. So November 21st onward. Okay. So there is actually kind of like, um, dealing with residual energy, stopping, like you're coming to a full stop sometime this month, and then you're going to do a 180. Okay, and this energy also happened for Leo, mainly on the relationship front, because uh, Venus in retrograde was oscillating between um, Virgo and Leo. But for you, it's making us, um, it's making you reassess like values, it's making you reassess values and work and also a significant romantic partner in your life. I don't feel like it's, you know, choosing between multiple people in this spread. I do feel it was a relation, a significant relationship that you worked really hard at that didn't pan out the way you want that. Um, it was very, very imbalanced and you're going to decide to release. Okay. For good. And it could also be a work situation where you're like toiling away. Um, People are not appreciative of your efforts. You worked really hard and you worked like, um, you put in a lot of time and effort in order to build it up from the ground and people weren't putting in, you know, the same amount of weight or the same amount of work, excuse me. And because of it, you're going to choose to move somewhere else in a better situation, in a better environment that is more conducive for long-term stability and growth and promotion for yourself okay so on the work front there is going to be a period of reassessment and a second decision is going to be made and I do feel it is going to happen by the second week of August like the, the end of the second full week of August a decision needs to be reached here and um, I wouldn't say you're running out of time or anything like that it's just you know try to steer yourself on the right path to begin with because you have very very good outcomes Whatever it is that you're deciding to launch this month, you have two of the best cards here for projects, okay? This is taking that first step towards the new direction in your life. It's also a wand energy, so it deals with work projects. It deals with relationships as well, like passion, drive, ambition, creativity. And on top of it, you have the star, which is basically um, if you've been fumbling in the dark trying to get something off of the ground, you're actually being divinely guided this month and a lot of clarity is coming through for you. It's sort of like the moon and the stars are both shining bright in order for you to find direction, okay? Whenever I look at this card, I always think about Moses and, um, you know, it's sort of like he is taking that first step possibly, you know, it, this is the ocean here, but the way it's colored, it always looks to me like the desert. It's very like sparsely populated. There's a lot of risk inherent in embarking on this first step of the journey through a very barren land. And you, 
you're seeing the mountains and you know the possibilities on the other side but you're holding very tightly to something that you're emotionally invested in you're trying to make it come to fruition but you know it's a perilous journey but you have both of these astrological bodies which is you know the moon is going to light your way there is going to be water found in that um that land there's also food abundance in wildlife as well to sustain you not the dog so just the you know crab lobster the lobster coming from the water um at least you're going to have sustenance okay and um it also reminds me of like mana raining down from the heavens in order to provide um you with sustenance okay so it's like divine intervention coming through to guide you on the next phase of your life and um a lot of um, tarot readers and astrologers have mentioned that in the midst of it, Saturn in your sign, especially transiting your sign, is a very, very difficult um, period. But at the same time, um, there are a lot of um, synchronicities such as signals, guidance, direction. And all you have to do is basically listen to your intuition a little bit more and... Um, deal with people like on a very like take people at face value so what I mean by that is well let, let's just finish up this thing I was talking about sorry for getting distracted but I do feel you have these two cosmic bodies planetary bodies and um, you're going to find light in a very dark place you're going to find direction okay so you're being guided by the moon and the stars and they're both lighting the way for you so that you're not fumbling around in the dark trying to reorient yourself, okay? So I do feel by that second week, that full 180 turnaround is going to happen for you. And you're going to figure out what you want to do. And I do sense a lot of it is going to be a new direction, a new lease on uh, life. Possibly scrapping the old job where you were working thanklessly day after day. And moving forward or scrapping that really emotionally uh, manipulative person from your life and you're moving forward okay I'm sensing here that this might not be um, a lot of you might be dealing with water sign Pisces cancer Scorpio but it might not be a um, water sign it's just the energy I'm getting from this card and the moon indicates to me there was a lot of like um, there was a lot of just um, Lack of information is not even like outright deception. It's just lack of information. And you were busy with something else. You never had the time to look into it. And now it's kind of like um, the, the light is being, sh um, you know, the spotlight is shining on it. And you can't ignore it any longer. So whatever direction you were thinking about heading off to towards with this person, it doesn't work like that anymore. You have to find a different way. Okay, so... For this month, I would say the theme of this month is reassessment and release, okay? No matter what, it's going to require reassessment and a very, very strong, it's just like, you know, dropping things as is, not even like wanting to have a discussion. It's just like, I've had enough, I'm done. So I'm going to move on with my life and, you know, goodbye to you. It's sort of like that. It's, it's something very drastic. Um, I don't feel it's bad. It's something that you were contemplating for quite some time and you never got around to it because you know responsibilities tend to pile up when um saturn is in your sign okay that's just the way things work so you were quite busy and i do feel for this month a lot of clarity is coming through that you can't ignore any longer so you are going to drop things that have been weighing you down that have been causing a lot of sleepless nights that have been hurting your self-esteem and you're going to move forward and decide that you know this is the path that i want to take this is something that is a lot more carefree it's a lot more fruitful for me it's um it's more beneficial to me and, and my well-being and um, I don't really want this really heavy emotional experience anymore. So I'm just going to drop it. So overall, though, it's um, it's a very, very good month for you to, you know, um, I guess, reorient yourself into a position or especially into a life path that is more promising for your future. Uh, health wise, there are if there have been like surgeries, if there have been like health scares, there's a lot of illumination coming through. So you're probably um, going through, you know, like um, 
if you have had health issues and you've tried all these remedies and none of them have worked, I do feel there is going to be a breakthrough in diagnosis, in you know at least deciding on a course of treatment that is going to be much beneficial for you. It might be like more of a holistic health type of situation. So for example, if you've had uh, problems with like joints, especially your knees, feet, and things like that, and you've been taking medication, and the medication has like very adverse side effects, where you feel like, oh, that's not really worth it. You're being guided to come see a specialist somewhere else, and they're treating you holistically. So it doesn't have any type of adverse side effects that will affect other parts of your body. And it's going to allow you to um, basically, you know, have a better quality of health as a result. So I do feel a lot of health issues coming through for a lot of you. Things have been like very difficult to diagnose or treat in the past. But for this month, a breakthrough is coming through for you at, on that front, okay? So instead of taking, you know, all these different medicines and trying all these different like uh, treatments, you're going to narrow it down and you don't need to, you know, hold on so tight and take all these vitamins and, and minerals. It's just going to be like one dose and I do feel that it's going to pay off in a period of three months, okay? So you're going to start to see like breakthroughs and um, improvements. So it's, it's going to be, you know, three months relatively. People would say, oh, that's too long. But, you know, in, in the scheme of the greater scheme of things, we live for what? Longevity, life longevity is like in the 80s, 90s now for a lot of people. So three months is not a really long time when you want to improve the overall quality of your life. So, you know, take a different approach this time. I do feel like a 180 turnaround for you guys. Um, it's definitely coming through and it looks very promising and fruitful, okay? So Sagittarius, take good care of yourself. Saturn is back in your sign. Do things deliberately and honestly. Trust your gut instincts, and I do feel that you are going to have to take some time off to do some introspection and decide on the next phase of your life. So once again, I would say always approach life with a clear uh, mind and um, figure out, like, lay out a game plan for yourself, okay? This is a really good time to do that and to figure out what you want to do for the next two years, what you want to do for the next five years, and orient yourself towards that direction, okay? And I do sense that um, for a lot of you, you know, all the cards are very solitary. That doesn't mean that uh, relationships are going to be bad, but I do sense that um, relationships that have been very, very one-sided, that have been toxic, that have been corroding at your self-esteem, you're going to drop them and you're going to just walk away without, you know, looking back. For this month so overall it's a very closure inducing type of energy and i do hope that you can um you know we breakups are always hard but i do feel that you're not going to let other people play you for a fool you're not going to involve yourself in threesome types of relationship because i do feel that in this card you're looking out for number one at least i don't feel like this is a bad card okay at least you're not going to put your self-esteem through the ringer in order to sustain any type of a threesome relationship, okay? At least you're not going to do it knowingly, but I do feel that intuition is kicking in overdrive for this month. So even though you're distracted by other aspects going on in your life, you are going to do some relationship reassessment, all right? So Sagittarius, please take care of yourself. Um, stay hydrated. And um, if there are health problems plaguing you, I do feel that there's going to be closure for this month, okay? So um, if you are interested in a private reading, please send me an email at temperatestar at gmail.com. My website can be found in the information box below. Click on the arrow, it will expand, and click on my website, it will take you there, all right? So take care of yourself, I'll talk to you soon.